uh today we'll be looking at another set from uh cat 2017 uh this is from uh lrdi slot 1 <coughs> okay uh, before i start please do uh, leave your comments on our uh, whatsapp number you can also check our courses on uh, topmytest.com if you want to enroll we have our insta mojo page where you can go and enroll over there <coughs> Okay uh this set uh, came in cat 2017 slot 1 now this is essentially a permutation and combination set okay if you know how to count okay then this question is pretty easy straightforward not very difficult okay let's see how the question looks like okay a new airline company is planning to start operations in a country okay the company has identified 10 different cities which they plan to connect through their network to start with the flight duration between any pair of cities will be at least 1 hour to start operations the company has to decide on a daily schedule okay so you have 10 cities 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay so you have 10 cities to be covered okay <clears throat> now each city has to be connected according to this okay the underlying principle they are working on is as follows okay they have these 10 cities which they have identified this is an underlying principle any person in any of these 10 cities should be able to make a trip to any other city in the morning and should be able to return by the evening of the same day so you should have a morning flight between the given cities and you should have an evening flight also between the given cities okay so let's see how this works if the underlying principle is to be satisfied in a such a way that the journey between any two cities can be performed only using only direct non stop flights then what is the minimum number of direct flights to be scheduled okay so you should be able to take a flight from 1 to 3 and you should be able to return from 3 to 1 in the evening similarly you should be able to take a flight from 10 to 7 and should be able to return in the evening okay and this can be you can probably go from 10 to 7 and probably in the evening you want to go from 7 to 4 also so there should be connectivity in the morning as well as connectivity in the evening now the good part is uh, the good part is whatever is a number of flights in the morning the same will be the return flights also so if you calculate just the morning flights we can double it and find the number of evening flights <clears throat> okay so let's calculate the number of morning flights you need to be able to go from any city to any other city so from i can i have 10 choices to i have nine choices so overall i should have 90 choices in the morning similarly 90 choices in the evening so total of 90 plus 90 Hundred and eighty options should be there. So at least hundred and eighty flights should be scheduled for this principle to be satisfied. <coughs> okay, let's look at the next one. Suppose three of the ten cities are to be developed as hubs. Hub is a city which is connected with every other city by direct flights, both in the morning as well as the evening. Only direct flights which will be scheduled are originating and or or terminating in one of the hubs. then the minimum number of flights required to be scheduled so that the underlying principle to serve all the 10 cities is met now you have three cities which are hubs and there are other seven cities <coughs> okay now any direct flight should be to and from only these cities okay and the flight should either start from the the any flight should either start from the hub or end from the hub now the principle is again you should be able to take a trip in the morning as well as take a trip in the evening okay so let's calculate this now there are two scenarios one is from hub cities to non hub cities let's see how many flights are there from hub cities to non hub cities okay in one direction from hub to non hub okay each hub will have seven flights and the return flights will also be additional seven so 14 flights from each of the hubs connecting the other city in the morning one from the hub to the destination city and second is from destination city to the hub there are three such hubs so 42 morning flights should be there 
which are between hubs and non hub cities now let's see what is there between the hubs <coughs> between the hubs from would be 3 to would be 2 so that will be additional 6 flights so overall in the morning you need to schedule 48 flights 48 flights in the morning 48 flights in the evening 48 into 2 96 overall flights are required <coughs> right okay let's go to the next one okay suppose the 10 cities are to be divided into four distinct groups g1 g2 g3 g4 g2 2 and 2 cities respectively g1 consists of cities a b c okay so you have g1 has a b and c you have g2 g3 and g4 okay so you have three cities in g2 two cities in g3 and two cities in g4 okay now the only flights that are allowed are this cities if both the cities are in g1 so among g1 flights are allowed as it is okay between a and any city in g2 between a and any city in g2 between b and any city in g3 and c and any city in g4 remember it should be both to and from one one time morning there should be to and fro flights evening also there should be to and fro flights this is the underlying principle from any city to in the morning another city and same should be in for the evening again let's calculate the morning flights between two cities in g1 from is the options two is two options so six flights have to be scheduled between these cities okay between a and any city in the in g2 okay a and any city in g2 okay from a to g2 there will be three two flights and three return flights so six b and any city in g3 two onward flights and two return flights so four similarly between c and any city in g4 two onward flights two return flights so four so overall 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 4 20 20 flights on in the morning again we have to double this so 40 flights overall are required to satisfy this criteria <coughs> okay and the last one says suppose 10 cities are divided into four distinct just like in the previous one each having 3 2 and two cities respectively says so that g1 consists of a b c okay again you have a b c you have g2 you have g3 and you have g4 both cities are in g1 okay this is the g1 group this is the g2 group there are three cities here two cities here and two cities here <coughs> however due to operational difficulties at a it was decided that only flights that would operate from a would be those from to and from b so only connectivity is to and fro b okay cities in g2 would be assigned to either g3 or g4 okay what will be the maximum reduction in the number of direct flights as compared to the situation before operational difficulties arose okay <coughs> now if you look at the previous one we had six flights here six flights here four flights here and four flights here <coughs> okay <coughs> now let's see how much this will change now between b and g3 this will remain unchanged between c and g4 this will remain unchanged okay let's see what happens in both the cities in g1 both the cities in g1 so for both the cities in g1 you will have stuff six flights now okay a can have uh, now let's see from a you can have only uh, from and to a there should be only uh, <coughs> from and uh, okay a the only destination is b okay and return okay only destination is okay let's look at one side flights only destination is a from a there is only one flight which is b okay from b there will be two flights one to a one to c and from c there will be only one flight which will be to b 
So these six flights become one plus two plus one. This will become four. Okay. What happens to these G two cities? Now instead of G two cities, which will be going to A, these G two cities will either go to B or C. Okay. So from the first city in G two, there will be two flights: one to G two and one from G two. It can be to either B or C. Similarly, two here, two here. Okay, so total six flights. So these six flights remain the same. Okay, so the only change comes is this six becomes four. Others remain exactly the same. So instead of twenty flights in the morning, it will drop to eighteen in the morning. Now we need to schedule eighteen in the morning will mean eighteen in the evening. So thirty-six overall flights. Okay. Now previously we had forty overall flights. Now it has become thirty-six overall flights. Maximum reduction will be four. Maximum reduction will be four. That will be your correct choice. See, the only change happens is only change which is happening is in the first case. Instead of going to A, they have got a new place. They can either go to B, either go to C. But still, you need to operate two flights from B to say X and return, or from C to X and return. It can be only. Two flights, so two into three, six flights remain the same. Only change happens in the uh, first case. So instead of six, it became four flights in the morning. Total of eighteen flights in the morning. Similarly, eighteen flights in the evening. Overall, thirty-six flights every day. Okay. Initially, we had forty. It's a reduction of four. <coughs> okay. So this completes this set. This was, as we said earlier, this is more of a permutation, combination, and counting sort of method sets. this was not very difficult but you had to be careful in two parts one is you had to look at bo both onward as well as return journeys as well as you also need to make sure you had uh, you had taken care of the morning flights as well evening flights okay <clears throat> so that finishes our session please do leave your comments and feedback on our whatsapp number and if you want to enroll for our courses or know more about us you can visit our website or on our instamojo page thank you till we meet again goodbye